Steve Adubato here in uh, Philadelphia. This is the Healthcare Collaboration Summit put together by the folks at Virtual and CHOP Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. They're setting up the stage for another panel of CEOs coming together, talking about collaborations in the uh, area of healthcare. Folks from all over the eastern seaboard, frankly, who've come together, hospital CEOs, government officials, uh, former members of Congress, policymakers, everyone coming together, talking about collaborating talking about lowering the cost of health care, talking, talking about helping consumers get better health care. Ultimately, that's what this is about, collaboration, partnership. And we've talked to a whole range of folks. So for the next half hour, check out Collaborating in the City of Brotherly Love. A couple years ago here in uh, Philadelphia, we talked to our good friend Al Campanella, who is Executive Vice President of Strategic Growth and Analytics at Virtua. That conference was important. This one is as well. Um, dealing with collaborations. You're on a panel called Digital Medicine, The Next Frontier. What does that have to do with collaborating? Well, we see lots of technology in our society. People are wearing Fitbits, uh, there's social media, but how does that all apply to healthcare? Well, in healthcare, you have to have lots of folks working together, patients themselves, physicians, nurses, and the technology vendors all working together to make sure that this technology is truly useful, designed to be used easily, and that the data that's generated can be evaluated and used by those healthcare providers and consumers in a meaningful way. So let's break this down and give us an example. The Fitbit, I'm thinking to myself, what does that really have to do with collaboration? So if I have the Fitbit, got it on, I'm monitoring myself. Why do I need to be collaborating? Why do clinical professionals need to be collaborating about that? Well, exercise is an important part of health. Uh, those people who exercise usually have um, you know, trim waists, they have uh, good cholesterol levels, and especially if you have a chronic disease such as diabetes, um, you want to keep exercise up. So it's important that um, devices like Fitbit uh, will help you monitor how many steps you're walking, your exercise, and so on. Now, how does that matter to the physician? Well, the physician cannot possibly know every single day's worth of data that you're generating with Fitbit. But he or she will at least want to know that you are exercising, that you are monitoring your fitness levels, uh, and that it is contributing to your long-term health plan. But isn't it complicated and difficult to share this information? Because there's so much information and the potential for, dare I call it, information overload clearly exists? Yes, uh, absolutely. Information overload is a, it can be a problem. I call it a data tsunami. A data tsunami. A data tsunami in some cases. Uh, what we've done really uh, is uh, roll out uh, remote biomedical devices to people's homes. And these are FDA approved devices. What do they look like? Uh, they're usually uh, small monitors. You can attach them to your finger or to your wrist, uh, or in some cases to your chest, or in some cases they're weight scales for taking weight. Uh, and they transmit data back uh, to a central repository. And then nurses or other professionals can look at the patterns that are uh, seen in those data. And in some cases, if the data is, uh, uh, triggers a problem, uh, then we'll follow up immediately with the patient. So, so let me get this straight. So someone is monitoring that information all the time, and, and does it trigger when there's an issue? Yes. Uh, so every day, for example, a person with congestive heart failure is asked to take their weight. And if their weight were, uh, for example, to increase by two, three, or four pounds, um, that might be a sign that there's an issue with uh, the disease. And so we would see that weight come over uh, through uh, the, the uh, secure internet connection uh, to our monitoring system, and then it would uh, trigger an alarm uh, if it were too high, and then in turn, the uh, care coordinator uh, would reach out to the patient. But, but Al, isn't it also fair to say that patients need to be involved? Um, and when you talk about the fact that you're involved in analytics and strategic business growth, that's on the corporate side, that's on the healthcare side, but the fact is we as consumers have a role to play in all this. Consumers have a, a great role to pet play. Uh, behavior change is hard. And sometimes technology can help incent people. So you see, for example, now mobile apps where there are uh, rewards given, incentives, um, just the mere fact of tracking uh, different metrics each day get people more involved. So the idea that I am tracking myself and know what I'm looking for and own, taking some degree of ownership of my own health matters. Absolutely. Finally, a, a summit like this here in Philadelphia is so important because? 
This summit's very important because it brings together so many different stakeholders. We have today represented um, at least five different health systems are here today. Uh, we have three uh, commissioners of health here from each of the surrounding states. Uh, we have numerous technology vendors, uh, other people from go the government sector and the uh, private industry sector. Uh, it's phenomenal to see how much uh, collaboration uh, there is and how much there is possible and needs to be in the future. And sharing best practices. Absolutely. Thanks, Al. You're welcome, Steve. Thank you. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence, and 13 for WNET, NJTV, and WHYY. Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by Health Republic Insurance of New Jersey, the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, New Jersey Sharing Network, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, MD Advantage Insurance Company of New Jersey, and by NJ Best. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.